stinks, no cats. Also, if you guys didn't watch the last video that I did, if this is your first time watching, make sure you guys go back, subscribe, first of all, and then watch my old video of the motor down r before and after. They made a difference, it's still not super loud, but I mean, it sounds a lot better. You guys ready or what? G35 all the time like I did when I first got it but when I first got my car I wrecked my car three days after having it, it cost four thousand seven hundred dollars to fix um, it isn't a salvage title I didn't hit the frame or none, so we're still good on that but the reason why I looked into it and did a lot of research and then I came up with this idea to delete the ABS doing the fuse like I said if you haven't watched that video go back and watch it if you're interested in doing it to your car now let me explain the reason why you do this ABS delete the ABS delete is basically say you're at a high speed it could be anything 50 or above okay say you go to somebody pulls in front of you and you go to apply the brake or say if somebody runs out in front of you in your residential area and you slam on the brake you're gonna feel the pulsating uh, a feel a pulsating feeling on the on the brake pedal when you hit it it feels spongy you don't stop automatically your brakes don't lock up and that's to prevent you from sliding okay I was on the freeway let me give you an example I was on the freeway racing an AMG I always everybody always wants to race me I mean, it's the way my car looks. It's just a V6. The, my car is slow as hell right now. It will be faster in the future. But, so after I wrecked, I did the ABS delete. But, uh, okay, okay, let me tell you. When I wrecked, basically, I was racing the AMG on the freeway, and uh, the dude cut from one lane all the way over right in front of me and tried to squeeze in because there was only a gap. Of course, the AMG is going to win. I just said my car is slow. But, I can get in and out of places real fast with this little car and I've been driving it for over a year now. I'm actually pretty good at it. When this car turned in pulled in front of me on the freeway, there's another car in front of him, which caused him to hit his brakes. I slammed on my brakes. The car did not stop right away. It stopped a little bit, then it kept rolling. And as it kept rolling, that little bit of space it took for me to roll, I smacked the car just like that, hella hard. Fucked up my whole front end. My bad guys, I'm driving on the freeway, that's my exit. You gonna let me in, motherfucker? Okay, now, let me get into the reason why I did the ABS delete. 
I did the ABS delete because of that, okay? Ever since I've done the ABS delete, now my car, any I could be at any speed, hit my brakes, I will instantly lock up. So if you're not familiar with driving a car like that, it's easy because I, I drive a six speed. I use downshifting to slow down for most of the time. But when it comes for me to slam on my brakes, I don't need the brakes acting spongy. I need them to lock up when I hit the brakes. And I have the Brembo's on here, so I didn't understand in that pulsating feeling that I feel every time when I'm going fast, even in the corner and you go to hit your brakes, they feel spongy because it doesn't want you to slide. When you do the ABS delete, all that goes away, I promise you. You do, do the exact way I did, all your lights are gonna come on in your dashboard, who cares? That pulsating feeling you feel when you slam on your brake, will no longer be there, I promise you. <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've seen a comment, somebody asked me or basically told me, oh, the ABS is there for safety. Yeah, for the wrong safety. It's to prevent you from sliding, okay? An aggressive driver like me, I, I don't need a, a spongy brake or the pulsating feeling when I go to hit the brake. It's not trying to stop. I want my brakes to stop on an instant. So now, when I go to hit my brakes, my my car will stop on a dime, no problem, and it won't slide. Like I said, I downshift, then I hit my brakes, boom, problem solved. <clears throat> Took that away. So I basically just want to put it out there for you, you guys that are clicking on this video and want to know why an ABS delete. Well, that's the reason right there. It takes away that pulsating feeling you feel when you're at high speeds. Now that I did the ABS delete, it's no no longer there. So. That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to get that off my chest. It's been bothering me, so I appreciate it if you guys watched all the way through. And this, if this is your first time watching, man, be sure to subscribe. It's highly appreciated. It doesn't cost you anything at all. We're almost at 500 mark. I am trying to hit the 1,000 mark so I can actually go live. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I'll hit the 1,000 mark before the end of the year. But if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hate again and put the thumbs down. I'm not even tripping. Oop, gee. If you didn't like the video, man, put the thumbs down. I'm not tripping. It's all good. But I just had to put that out there and clarify why exactly the ABS delete is there for. In case some of you guys think, oh, this dude's stupid. So stay tuned for the next video. I do have car parts on the way. Uh, side, I, there's a bunch of parts I need. Side splitter, front splitter, my hood. Uh, I'm getting a bigger, in, I'm getting an uh, intake. I'm getting bigger throttle body. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna order the plenum spacer. Mm, rims are coming. I need new tires for these, so I'm probably gonna cop the tires first. But there's just so much coming on the G35, man. If you guys wanna follow a crazy build and watch me feel it, spend a stupid amount of money on this car just because I'm in love with the way it looks. It's slow right now. We will put a supercharger on next year after I get all the pieces that I want for the car. After I'm done buying all my pieces that I need for it, um, we're going to supercharge it, E85 tune, and there's just a bunch. There's so many plans for this car, and from talking to the shop, I should be above 500 horsepower with a reliable um, supercharger. Um, this is a carb legal supercharger. Fuck, speed bump. Ugh. Please don't scrape. Nope. Cool. Um, fuck, I forget what I was saying, man. That speed bump just spooked you, boy. Um, oh yeah, talking to the shop, supercharger. Um, it is, it is very pricey for what I want. The supercharger is actually about nine grand with everything. The tune and everything. That was a fucking cop. Please don't turn around. But enough of me talking, man. This video's at what, eight minutes, almost nine minutes, and you guys didn't see no, nothing. Uh, I'll probably go over here real quick. Um, I'm about to be on my street, so I'll do a little poo for you guys inside the car. But it's going to take me like five minutes to get there. I don't want to do it in an open street. I want to be safe, so I'm going to do it. I live in a secluded area. It's like country kind of. So, yeah. That's where I'm going to go do the pool at. In case you guys start hating on that too as well. So, stay tuned. I'll probably put this in the beginning of the video. Catch your guys' attention. But stay tuned, man. You boys out.